It's a story as old as time itself. The story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. The first pig, whose name was Zachary, Zach as his friends knew him by, built his humble abode from straw. His brother, Jack, built his house from sticks. He always said that he learned from nature's architects, the beavers. Thirdly, we have Mac, who used his masonry skills to build a nice, solid home from bricks. Meet Herman, the fourth little pig. Herman, much like his three brothers, was a pig with a skill. His skill wasn't about building a house with straw, sticks or bricks. No, his skill was photography. You see, while his brothers created beautiful structures with various building supplies, Herman created beautiful photographs with his Polaroid camera. Oh, what a lovely day for a hike. Oh, look, there's some pretty flowers over there. I want to take a picture of those. Oh, oh, look, there's a little bee by the flowers. Hi there, little bee. How are you doing today? Are you... Oh, no, he's mad at me. Oh, I gotta get out of here! Herman, who was deathly allergic to bees, found himself in an awkward situation. Hello, piggy. Sorry about that, but you should really watch where you're going. Oh, I'm sorry. I was running from a bee that was chasing me, and he's... Oh, there he is again! I gotta get out of here! Herman ran and ran and left his new acquaintance behind. That was easier than I expected. Oh no! While Herman was busy contending with the bee, his brothers were about to contend with their own you, situation. You got to a brick the right way, and then you know you get it on there pretty good. Oh my gosh. The wolf had discovered their little village. Oh, I gotta get out of here. This time, it's gonna get me. Herman, confident that his brothers could take care of themselves, thought it best that he avoid the situation altogether. I gotta get out of here. So he ran. And he ran and he ran, as fast as his little piggy legs could carry him. He ran so far that eventually he made it to the ocean. He saw a nice little sailboat that someone was just giving away. Well, that was lucky. He jumped right in that boat and set sail for the open seas. Herman sailed out into the wild blue yonder. He sailed under the big blue sky, under the bright stars. The night finally came. He sailed, and he sailed, and he sailed. Herman was getting pretty tired of sailing when finally he saw land again.
Herman surveyed his surroundings and knew he needed to explore the island before darkness fell. He ventured into the jungle when his stomach started giving him the rumblies. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat me some bananas. Well, that was good. Oh, guess I should build me a shelter. Herman rushed back to his boat and fashioned himself together a makeshift shelter with a few palm tree leaves. It finished just in time because the thunder turned into rain. And that rain got so heavy, it turned into a storm. And that storm blew Herman's little palm leaf shelter down like it was made of straw. Herman didn't know what to do. He sat sadly in the pouring rain, getting wet, cold, muddy, and his sinuses were acting up to boot. He climbed into his boat, the only shelter he had, and finally, fell asleep. The next morning, the sun came out and shone brightly. Herman was ecstatic to be nice and dry and warm. His sinuses were also doing much better, thank you for asking. He decided to take advantage of his situation and went swimming and played in the sand. <coughs> Herman had received a nasty sunburn during his fun in the sun, so he decided he should go into the shade of the jungle and perhaps find a place for a new shelter. As he walked through the jungle, he came upon a nice little clearing that was full of another tropical plant that would make a good shelter too. This time, he'd build one out of bamboo. Herman got to work getting his bamboo poles all situated he got a lot of them together and tied them with little bits of vine he had also found in the jungle. It was a very long and tedious process, but he kept at it all day long. Herman was enjoying himself immensely now. Doing something so productive encouraged him to build something else. So he fashioned himself a little ukulele and played some music as he sat by his campfire that night. But his joy was to be short-lived. Herman was distraught. He had worked so hard on his bamboo hut. This shelter was supposed to last a long time. The stormy winds were too strong, and Herman trudged sadly through the jungle. He was depressed and exhausted. Nothing he did seemed to work.
Well, I guess you've never been hit on the head with a coconut before. I get hit on the head with a coconut all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a rock. Didn't mean to sit on you. I was just trying to get out of the rain. Uh, don't worry about it. That happens all the time. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just give up on building a shelter and just stand in the rain. Well, just take a walk up the mountain. I'm sure you'll find something. See you later. That second coconut knocked some sense into Herman. Snapped him out of his sad thoughts. He could find a better shelter. He knew it. He couldn't give up now. No, sir. He was on a tropical island living the dream. He decided to take the advice of the tortoise and went on a hike up the mountain. He got to a high vantage point and looked around to see what he could see. Peering into the distance, Herman saw something that piqued his curiosity. Herman went into the cave and looked around. It was dry and cool from the hot sun. Plus, it was big enough to stretch his legs. Yes, this would work. This would work quite nicely. Outside, the old rain started falling again. And Herman could hear the thunder rolling. See the lightning flashing. This time Herman didn't mind. He actually liked the sound of the storm because this time he was nice and dry in his new shelter. He slept very soundly that night. The rain raged outside, but it wasn't anywhere near as loud as Herman's snoring. day, Herman stepped out onto his new front porch, sipping some delicious coffee. Where he got the coffee, I'll never know. He had a nice view from his new home, so he grabbed his camera and snapped a beautiful photograph. Such a lovely picture, he decided to use it for a postcard. I want to sing a song. Through the tulips with me. <laughs> 